If you wanted to send someone photos or videos, but the files are really big, especially for videos, and if you wanted to use an iCloud link instead, I'm gonna show you how to do that. The first thing you need to do is head into your settings. After you're in the settings app of your phone, let's tap on your name at the very top. Once you're in here, you need to make sure iCloud Photos is turned on. So tap on the iCloud option, and then you'll be able to see under save to iCloud is photos. Just tap on it and make sure sync this iPhone is toggled on so that you've initiated the photo access for iCloud. After we've done that, let's head into the photos app itself. So in here, I'm gonna select some photos and videos that I want to send. So I'll tap on the select button at the top right. And let's say I wanted to choose a couple of videos and also a couple of photos. Let's say I'm good with that. Now I can send it through an iCloud link by tapping the share button at the bottom left. You have a couple different options. If you get into the text message or an email, it might automatically just prompt you to send it as a link if it's too large, but you can manually do it by tapping the copy iCloud link at the very bottom. Now what this does is it uploads all of those photos and videos from your phone to the iCloud and then provides a link for you for you to send to anyone else. So let me, for example, just text this link to myself. So I can press here, tap on paste and hit share. Now you can see it says two photos and videos sent via iCloud. Now, if anybody goes in here and taps on it, they'll see a screen that looks like this. Keep in mind, it might take a few minutes or maybe even an hour if it's a ton of photos and a ton of videos because it does need to upload all of these to the iCloud. But the other person can then just tap on the select button at the top right and they can select one or multiple ones of these and they can tap on the download button at the bottom right. Or of course they can just tap on it to open it up and hit play. If they wanted to hit play and just watch the photos or watch the videos, they can do all of those things. Keep in mind, this isn't available for forever. It says available until August 13th. That's about a one month from now. So keep in mind, if you do want those photos or videos, you should take them from that iCloud link and save them onto your device.